Hello Interior Alaska, Joe Cook here in the sports seat for you this evening with your Tuesday sports cast. The college signing period is picking up as players are coming and going from the interior. Today at West Valley High School alongside his parents and Wolfpack coach Kyle Allison, Zach Rewall signed his national letter of intent to play at Colorado State Pueblo. He'll be a Thunder Wolf next year. Wall will join a very successful Division II program. CSU Pueblo won the Division II National Championship last year to finish a 13-1 season. They've won the last four Rocky Mountain Athletic Conference titles. They are led by eight-year head coach John Riston. The Thunder Wolves led all Division II in points allowed at 12.8 per game last season. Wall comes in as a versatile lineman who was first team all rail belt and was an all-state pick as an offensive and defensive lineman for the Wolfpack. He's six foot three and weighs 280 pounds right now. He broke open holes for Joshua Cummings, who ran for over 1,000 yards as a sophomore last season for the Pack and was a pillar on the West Valley's defensive line. With the 3.8 GPA, Wall intends to major in engineering with a concentration in mechatronics. He feels he's ready to contribute to the defending national champs any way he can. You know, it doesn't matter. It's where I can help the program, I think. I, I played mostly offensive line here, but I'm comfortable with both, and I'll do either. I have a lot of family in the area. Uh, it's a nice, uh, nice place to be. Um, I really thought I fit well with the coaches and the players down there. I enjoyed, you know, my going on my tour and seeing the campus. Thought it was a nice, nice program and a nice campus and a place that I'd fit well. We looked forward to when we knew Zach was in the huddle. Zach was on the field. Zach on the bus. You know, with his teammates, um, he was a, a, a role model for his peers at that level. Some Fairbanks curling royalty, if you will, are making, they're representing the Golden Heart City pretty well on the national stage. The Purse Singers are tied for second in the 2015 USA Mixed National Championships. The team of Greg, Vicky, Chad, and Tina Persinger are three and one after four games. They suffered their first loss this afternoon to the Evan Working Rink of Fargo, North Dakota, 7-3. The Persingers play again tonight against the Sean Murray Rink of Wisconsin. They are also three and one. The only Fairbanks team to win this event was the Steve Shuttleworth Rink back in 2004. There are 10 teams at Nationals and they will all compete in nine total games before the playoff rounds on Friday. The Mixed National Championships are taking place in Blaine, Minnesota and they run through April 4th. Now the winning team they will represent the U.S. in the first ever World Mixed Championships in, in September in Bern, Switzerland. Here are some results from over the weekend in the world of dog mushing. Some familiar names from the limited North American Championships won titles at the Toke Race of Champions on Saturday. Greg Zurich won the three dog Skeeter class. Rebecca Knight was second. That pair finished 1-2 at the LNAC earlier this month. Don Brown, a six dog LNAC winner, won the six dog six mile Toke Race by 17 seconds over Christian Travaux. Jerry Woods, he won the eight dog eight mile class in 48-39. He was also the Elnac eight dog race winner. In the open class 16 mile race, Mike Tesner of Germany is this year's champion, finishing in 102 minutes, 53 seconds with 12 dogs, 14 seconds ahead of Jason Dunlap, John Earhart continued his dominance in the Koyukuk River Championship. Saturday, Earhart finished the open class 122 minutes, 28 seconds for first place with 10 dogs. Earhart clinched his seventh title with the victory. Francis Captain and Gary Markley complete the top three in that race. And Two Rivers musher Brenda Mackey won the Old Mail Trail 200. Mackey was the first into Manly Hot Springs on Friday night, finishing at 6 57-15. It was a round trip race from Nana, from Nana to Manly Hot Springs. Mackey won a total of 2,035 bucks. Also from Saturday, Jeremy Trasco won the 20 mile race in the Two Rivers Dog Mushers Association Valley Fun Alley. Beth Manning took the 10 mile, the 10 -mile title and junior race winner was Cassidy Meyer. Tune in tomorrow for a story that you won't believe, even though it'll be on April's full day. You'll see what I'm talking about. But that'll do it for sports tonight. For more for KTVS Sports, follow us on Twitter. Watch us on YouTube. You can visit webster11.com. You can download our mobile app. Mike Schultz is next with your four-weather forecast, and we'll catch you next time.